Hello, wonderful, amazing, beautiful, smart, intelligent, crazy, insane, wonderful world. Hello. So this is about the third, I think third or fourth day after I've uh, already gotten back on medication, um, uh, I've been having issues, not, not the best kind at all, I've been having a um, bit of anger issues, but that's actually one of the side effects of the medication, so I'm not surprised. It's, oh, one of the main reasons I got off of it in the first place a few months ago. Um, but I had to get back on medication because I was having way too many seizures. And now at least I'm sort of stable. But I have like these horrible headaches. And it feels like... like it's mainly the time when, like, right before I'm supposed to take it again, it's, it makes my brain feel like it's expanding in my head, and it just, it's letting you know it's Kepra or Levitorisatam, if you know it by that name. Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel... I feel like shit if I don't take it and now because it's just it makes me really tired too. I've, I've actually, even though I've been able to do more, I'm just, I don't, I really don't like feeling tired all the time. It sucks. Um. But really, when I when I do feel like I've had enough sleep, I actually feel pretty good and start kind of you know like having fun and making jokes and whatever and start speaking in weird not accents but voices and so it's it's actually pretty good. I know that uh, being vegan and exercising does help for sure, um, cause if I was eating meat or, or drinking soda, like, I used to drink soda like it was water, and that was a few years ago, and I'm glad I don't drink it anymore because it's just I've had a lot a lot more energy and not eating any animal products except for maybe once in a blue moon I'll I'll have like some sort of dairy which I pretty much immediately regret doing because I have really bad reactions to, to having dairy, so I guess it's just a lesson that I have to learn is just don't, don't eat dairy because I've already cut out everything else, but um, like I have vegan cheese and whatever, and, and like almond milk, and I love it actually. I prefer vegan cheese over regular cheese because vegan cheese, like I don't, I don't have like that stuffy kind of feeling, you know. It's it's 
hard to describe. But I just feel better when I'm eating vegan food and it's just... I don't know, to me it's it's just better and I feel better um, not eating meat. So I know that other people, they would feel better if, if they cut out meat. And not for like a week because that is ridiculous. That is just, that's a detox period. That is not um, an actual length of time that is proper for for actually feeling the effects of the health benefits and everything it's it's just a detox period and everybody's going to feel like shit on the detox because all the toxins are coming out of your body and like, if you, if you go for a month being vegan, then, okay, sure, you're going to feel the effects. You're going to feel the benefits. You're going to feel more energy. You're going to feel happier. You're not going to... You're not going to be constipated all the time. A month is, is good time, but a week... A week is you're still, you're gonna feel like shit, and you're actually gonna feel tired in the first week, because your body is just adjusting, because it's detoxing, and it's flushing all the bad stuff out, and being vegan, it's actually, it's really good, and it's really amazing, because you don't have to work so hard to to push yourself to do things and you're you're not craving like sugar or or like coffee or energy drinks or whatever crap that they they're selling nowadays or whatever and I don't know, personally, I really don't like coffee. Um, but that's just me. So, yeah. Life is better being vegan. Just, just putting that out there. It's just smarter. I feel it's smarter. And it's, it's cheaper to be vegan, too. Because think about it, if you look at the price of of meat and you look at the price of vegetables, you can eat a lot more of a vegetarian meal and still have some left over for, for another meal or even for the next day for the price of buying meat. Just think about it. The only way that being vegetarian or vegan will be expensive is if you're buying, like, um, meat substitutes or vegan cheese. Because, yeah, it is expensive. Vegan cheese is expensive. You can, but you can make your own vegan cheese with, with like, cashews and almonds. And that's a really good for, for making vegan cheeses. And, and like, even the meat, if you want to make veggie burgers you can use quinoa and and it doesn't take that much work or you can you can do so many things with fresh fruits and vegetables and it's really amazing and you get a few sweet potatoes and then you have a whole bunch of fries you can make fries with that you can you can boil the sweet potatoes you can do whatever and it's it's much cheaper to be vegan if you think about it and like I know that it's hard for people to realize the only reason they think it's more expensive is because they're looking at the prices of all of the meat substitutes and cheese substitutes or whatever bullshit 
Well, not really bullshit, because I actually like it. And, um, but, yeah, like, if, if you want to treat yourself, then go ahead and buy it, but don't spend, un, like, unnecessary time eating that if, if you don't have a lot of money, then just buy, just buy, like, the, the fresh stuff, and rice, a bag of rice is really, really cheap, you can, you can eat for days on that, just for one person, you can eat for days, and you, you can mix it up so so much like it's, it's it's amazing to to have the ability to save money because you're not spending it on on meat and if your argument is that uh, humans need protein and that's why they need meat honestly shut up because there's protein in fruits and vegetables not just nuts not just avocados there's there's protein in, in stuff like broccoli broccoli has a lot of protein to be honest and there, there's protein in everything. You, and your argument of meat has, is the only thing that has protein. That's bullshit, honestly. Just don't bring that shit to me because I really don't want to hear it. Because honestly, uh, I don't have a protein de deficiency at all. I have never had a protein deficiency, and I, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat for a while now, and it's, I'm, like, I'm waiting for, for this magical event to happen where the doctor says, oh, you have a protein deficiency, or you have a B12 deficiency. I don't have a B12 deficiency. B12 actually happens naturally in your mouth. You know, when you wake up, you have B12 in your mouth. You just just drink some water before you brush your teeth, and then you'll swallow the B12 that's in your mouth, and there you go. I'm fine. I don't, I don't need to take supplements. I don't need that concentrated chemical crap because... The body, it provides you with what you need to survive, to be healthy, and fruits and vegetables are good for you, and people who think otherwise, that's, that's really dumb if you think that fruits and vegetables aren't good for you, because really... Even carnivores, like lions, they will eat grass and they'll, they'll eat leaves. And that's because it helps them actually with their digestive system. If you actually do proper research, then you would know that even so-called carnivores... They have leafy greens, too. Yeah. And here's a fun fact. My dog actually prefers fruits and vegetables to, to meat. He really hates his dog food. And that's, that's a, that's a meat-based dog food. He prefers rice. He, he prefers potatoes. And he actually likes bananas. He really likes bananas. And he actually eats... Um, he, he eats 
vegetables. He, he, he loves it and he prefers it over meat. So think about that. Right now I'm done. I'm tired. So bye. Uh, I'll leave you with this little snippet. Enjoy it. <laughs> and have a good laugh. Putting me on the YouTube. Oh,